couple minutes. We're not going to have pavement here yeah. shortly. And with that, the rains we've been having lately, yeah. I got a feeling this road is going to be right. somewhat washed out. Yeah. But that's what Jeeps are for, right? I was standing on a corner and I had a sign that said we'll drive jeeps for free and some guy stopped and hired me. But the real answer is 16 years now with this company. Yeah, and I got about a 90% safe return rate so the odds are with us. Sounds like a lot of hilarity going on in the back seat. You realize this is serious business. <laughs> hear laughter what I don't like is screaming <laughs> but I guess that's kind of up to me isn't it now we're starting to see the aspen they grow above 7,000 feet Colorado Springs is 6,000 so unless you transplant them we don't see too many national aspen in the city Those are the trees that turn bright gold in the fall. There's a whole stand of aspen right there. Do you know how uh, aspen grow? The, uh, what we see as individual trees. Oh yeah, he's telling us they're all one. Yeah, it's one root system. It's under the surface of the earth. And that oh, root system, yeah. I, uh, I understand bamboo grows like that too, and also coral reefs. Yeah. Coral reefs are living organisms. Mm -hmm. I have a connection with Cripple Creek. Um, I used to be a newsman, and I was the editor of a Cripple Creek newspaper for a couple of years. But before you start making wisecracks, it was not during the gold rush, okay? <laughs> you know, I might look that old, but I'm really not. So right down below us is the broad north that we came through. And way out there, about 100 miles east of us, is Kansas. We're just beyond the horizon there. Boy, just wait till we get to the bumpy part. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about this road that we're on. Like I say, it's called the Old Stage Road. And um, please listen up because this is a safety reason, okay? Um, you might have noticed that we don't have pavement anymore. And did you notice that we don't have a guardrail? And did you see the big old drop off at the edge of the road? Okay, I always tell my passengers here, you know, if these mountain roads make them nervous, you know, just do like I do and close your eyes. Let me tell you about this rock since all of a sudden <laughs> it's gotten our attention. Um, this rock is called Pikes Peak Granite. And I think you can tell by looking at it, it isn't the kind of granite that you polish up for your kitchen counters. Um, this granite is mixed up with other minerals like quartz and mica and feldspar. And that mixture of other minerals makes it a really loose, flaky rock. It's not really good quality at all. And um, you know when that when that rock disintegrates into the into the gravelly stuff that like we see on the on the surface like this, like it is here. Um, when it's on the road surface like this, they call it Colorado ball bearings. Because it's very slippery. Yeah. Now these trees that we're driving by, speaking of forests, these evergreens with the long needles, those are ponderosa pines. 
and the evergreens with the short needles might be lodgepole pine or Douglas fir, Colorado blue spruce. destination. You can see a beautiful view of Colorado Springs right here. There's a peak over there that's called St. Peter's Dome. We can't really see it. Though. 